Android TV boxes, like this for example, have been the leader in the market of streaming devices for many years. Their worldwide availability, reliability, versatility and relatively low price make them an obvious choice when considering a device for video streaming, gaming or even digital signage installations. In this review, we'll talk about five great options that you should pay attention to when choosing an Android box today. Hi all, I'm Gabriel and you're watching the Look Digital Signage channel where we're talking about everything related to digital screens in one way or another. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a next equally interesting episode. Okay, now let's get started. And first in line, we have the compact and laconic Nokia Streaming Box 8000. This device is a successful attempt by returning from Oblivion Nokia to take its place in the rapidly developing market of streaming devices. The specs are in front of you. Let's call them at least average for the market, but still quite sufficient to perform the functionality assigned to it. Let's note 4K support and a rather peppy Android 10. Speaking of features, it is worth mentioning the built-in Chromecast, the ability to expand memory and the presence of Google Assistant. This set-top box has a fairly wide distribution and is available for about 100 US dollars, which is slightly higher than the price of its direct competitors. It is also worth mentioning the older model 8010 with Android TV 11, Wi-Fi 6, increased amounts of RAM and storage, which will cost you 50 US dollars more. The next option is the well-known Google Chromecast with Google TV 4K, a device that perhaps not a single rating can do without, and ours will be no exception. The recognizable design of this device running Android TV 12 is now available in three colors. The specifications look more interesting compared to the HD version, but are still not impressive. In addition to the standard set of features of a streaming device, in this case, it's also worth highlighting the smart home control function, which allows you to manage all connected devices in your home. So to sum it up, Google Chromecast guarantees consistent performance at one of the most competitive prices on the market, starting at 50 US dollars, making it a very popular choice in terms of value for money. Now let's move on. And we're here we have the updated version of another popular representative of the affordable mass market, the second generation Xiaomi Mi Box S. This 4K device has received several significant improvements over its predecessor, making it much more enjoyable to use. To begin with, let's note the advanced quad-core Cortex A55 CPU with Mali G31 GPU and the latest version of Google TV with a much more responsive and convenient UI compared to Android TV 9 from the previous model. In addition, this version has added support for Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, which greatly improves your audiovisual experience when using it. From the SAD, 2GB of RAM and 8GB of storage inherited from the previous model. In general, having made a kind of fit to the market dictated by time and the competitive environment, Xiaomi Mi Box S is still available around 60 US dollars, will undoubtedly continue to occupy its well-deserved leading position among similar devices in the corresponding price category. Now, let's move on to another level. Here is the A95X F4 8K UHD Smart TV box. Despite the fact that this device does not have any well-known global brand behind it, it undoubtedly deserves your attention. Here are just a few reasons. The heart of this model is the well-proven Amlogic S905X4 with quad-core Cortex A55 and Mali G31, similar to the Mi Box we talked about before. However, here we have much more promising 4GB of RAM and up to 128GB of storage. The device has fairly recent Android 11 installed and the manufacturer claims to support for resolutions up to 8K at 24fps 
which sounds impressive. Although, in fact, the device can only decode content in this resolution, but not display it on your TV. At the same time, 4K works just smoothly. It is also worth noting the large number of interfaces, including Ethernet connector and a rather nice futuristic design of the device itself. As a result, we have a quite powerful device that will definitely be popular, especially taking into account the very competitive price for its characteristics in the range of um, 110 and 120 US dollars. And the last participant in our rating, Meet Hugo's UT8 Pro. I must say that this is the flagship in the line of TV setup boxes from this manufacturer. We have a detailed review of a younger version of this device on our channel. It's somewhere around me right now. And to be honest, even then we were impressed by the strong performance of the devices from this line. But let's go to the point. Now we're dealing with Android 11 installed on the excellent 64-bit RK3568 CPU from Rockchip with a Mali G52 2EE GPU. Additionally, the device has an impressive 8GB RAM and 64GB of storage, making it a great choice if you're primarily looking for a gaming device. But UTA Pro is also perfectly prepared for video streaming, given its support for 4K at 60 FPS resolution. It is also worth noting that it supports Wi-Fi 6 and is the only device among all those mentioned in this video that has a durable metal case while weighing only 300 grams. You can purchase the Yugo's UT8 for around 180 US dollars, which is of course higher than the rest of the list, but it is generally comparable to the additional features that you get. Speaking about using the above devices as digital signage players, it is worth remembering that boxes running Android TV or Google TV have a number of software limitations. For example, the ability to rotate the screen to a vertical position. Accordingly, your choice as always should depend on the tasks that you need to solve. For example, if you want to stream uh, simple scenarios with images and videos on horizontal screens, any device from the first three will be suitable and affordable solution for you. On the other hand, if you're faced with the task of broadcasting complicated scenarios with the screen divided into several areas, a large amount of online content and high definition video playing at the same time, we would recommend to go with the options 4 and 5. One way or another, no matter which device you choose, the Look Digital Signage service will be an excellent solution for remote content management in this setup. See it for yourself within the 14-day free trial or book your personal demo to learn more about all the powerful features that the Look has to offer. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching the video to the end and share your experience using these devices in the comments below. And don't forget to put the likes up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.